feel like your designs are flat and boring, lacking that wow factor, get ready to take them from so-so to stunning. Stick around to uncover the principles of design that will bring your designs to life. Hey, my name is Jan Dutters from Typeful and on this channel I help logo and brand identity designers to make their design life easier by sharing my experiences and knowledge. In today's video we are diving into the 7 principles that will transform your approach and elevate your designs. Let's get started. The first principle is balance. Balance in design ensures visual harmony by evenly distributing elements, creating stability and equilibrium, much like a well-balanced seesaw. In this example, balance is achieved with two circles on the left, counterbalanced by a rectangle on the right, creating a harmonious composition. Note that balance can also be horizontal or diagonal, or like a top left or a bottom left arrangement. Now let's take a look at an example poster I've designed for you, where balance plays a crucial role. Notice how text elements are strategically placed at the bottom left and on the top right corners, creating a sense of equilibrium. Additionally, the center spear acts as a focal point, adding visual interest while maintaining balance within the design. By understanding and applying the principle of balance, you can ensure that your designs are not only visually appealing, but also convey a sense of stability and order that captivates the viewer's attention. Second principle is contrast. Contrast is like the spice of design. It adds flavor, depth and visual interest to your compositions. By juxtaposing different elements, such as color, size or shape, Contrast creates dynamic relationships that grabs the viewer's attention and guides their gaze through the design. In this iconic example, you can see how contrast is effectively utilized with a black square behind a white circle. The stark difference between the black and the white elements creates a bold visual statement, making the circle stand out prominently against the square. Now let's take a look at an example poster I have designed for Smear Sans a display font I created. In this poster, I've utilized contrast to showcase the typography in a compelling way. The black background serves as a canvas for the white and bright green letters, creating a striking contrast that draws the viewer's attention to the typography itself. By employing con contrast effectively, we can emphasize key elements to create designs that truly pop off the page. Understanding and harnessing the power of contrast allows you to create designs that are visually captivating. Emphasis. In design, emphasis directs attention to specific elements highlighting their importance. This strategic emphasis guides the viewer's gaze, communicates hierarchy and effectively conveys key messages. In this iconic image, you can see the power of emphasis at work. Despite the presence of multiple circles, it's the vibrant orange circle that immediately draws to your eye. This intentional use of color creates a focal point within the composition, making the orange circle stand out from the rest and emphasizing its significance. Now let's take a look at an example poster I have designed for Pathfinder Consulting. In this poster, emphasis is utilized to convey a powerful message amidst a pattern of arrows pointing downwards, symbolizing companies facing challenges. One arrow stands out with its vibrant orange color and upward direction. This strategically placed orange arrow represents the transformative impact of Pathfinder Consulting, highlighting their ability to guide struggling companies towards success. By emphasizing this key element, the poster effectively communicates the company's value proposition and captures the viewer's attention with a clear and compelling message. Repetition. Repetition in design is like rhythm in music. It creates a sense of continuity, unity and organization within a composition. By repeating certain visual elements, such as colors, shapes or patterns, designers can establish a cohesive visual language that ties the design together and reinforces key themes or messages. The power of repetition is showcased in this iconic example. The 
alternating dark gray and orange circles form a pattern that adds interest, guides the viewer's eye and creates a sense of rhythm and harmony. This makes the design visually pleasing and navigable. Now let's take a look at an example poster I have designed for Erika's multi-servers. In this poster, repetition plays a role in reinforcing the company's brand's identity and message. A pattern of stripes points towards the slogan, symbolizing the fluid workflow and sense of community fostered by the company. This repetition of stripes not only adds visual interest, but also creates a cohesive visual motive that ties the design together. By using the power of repetition, designers can create designs that are not only visually engaging, but also communicate their intended message effectively. Let's move on with Unity. Unity is the glue that holds the design together, ensuring that all elements work harmoniously to convey a cohesive message or theme. By establishing a sense of cohesion and coherence, Unity helps create a seamless visual experience that guides the viewer's eye and reinforces the overall concept of the design. In this image, the unity of different shapes, a triangle, square and circle is conveyed through their shared color. Despite their difference, the consistent color ties them into a cohesive whole. Here is an example of a talent show poster I designed. Unity is achieved through the use of a consistent purple color in text, logos and images. This conveys coherence and conveys the event's message seamlessly. By utilizing Unity, designers can create visually appealing designs that communicates clearly. Next up, we have proportion. Proportion in design is all about finding the right balance and harmony between different elements within a composition. By carefully considering the size relationships between elements, designers can create visual balance, hierarchy, and a sense of harmony that guides the viewer's gaze and enhances the overall impact of the design. This image beautifully demonstrates proportion. The progression from small to large shapes guides the viewer's eye creating movement, balance and rhythm. Now, let's take a look at an example poster I've designed for an exhibition. In this poster, proportion is utilized to guide the viewer's gaze and create visual interest. The text expo repeats itself from top to bottom, with each repetition gradually becoming less cut off. This deliberate manipulation of proportion creates a sense of progression and movement downwards, leading the viewer's eye from the top of the poster to the bottom. Underneath the fully visible expo, additional information about the exhibition is provided, ensuring that the viewer's gaze is naturally led to the relevant details. Number seven, hierarchy. Hierarchy in design is essential for organizing information, establishing importance and guiding the viewer's gaze through the composition. By creating a clear visual hierarchy, designers can prioritize information and ensure that the viewer's attention is directed where it matters most. This iconic image demonstrates hierarchy via different sized areas. The largest at the top draws attention, followed by the two smaller ones, and finally the smallest at the bottom. This organization guides the viewer's gaze from most to least important. Now let's take a look at an example poster I have designed for Urban Nights. In this poster, hierarchy is established through the strategic use of typography. Different text sizes and thicknesses are employed to guide the viewer's eye through the composition, ensuring that they engage with the information in a specific sequence. The title, Urban Nights, stands out prominently at the top, followed by the subheader, Illuminate Your Urban Experience, and the date, September 8th. To 25. As your viewer's gaze moves further, they find a smaller subheader to the left, uncovering the mystical charm after dark, and additional information presented in a logical and easy digestible format, with smaller text used for supplementary details. This deliberate hierarchy not only organizes the information effectively, but also enhances the overall readability. Thanks for joining me today as we explore the seven key principles of design. If you found these insights valuable, please consider smashing the subscriber button and I will see you in my next video. Stay creative.